Hello guys, so if you're new to my channel, I'm gonna leave the link on my Kibi Image Identities playlist down below. I call it body types, but actually it's Kibi Image Identities. So if it somehow influences on your understanding of this subject, please make sure that you know that this is image identities. Because when you talk body types, people go to measurements too much and we don't want that. It's mostly yin and yang balance in your body, but I have tons of videos. So if you're interested, you can check them out. Today, I'm gonna read you the part of the book that says about colors. There's different color analysis systems. There's 12 seasons, there's four seasons, and there are loads of different techniques on how different people find you your own palette. And it's all great. You can use it if that works for you. That's amazing. You can use this palette. However, when we talk about image identities, they have their own color combinations that they can use to express their vibe even more. Don't look at that as the only do's and don'ts for you. Every don'ts can actually be very much balanced with the silhouette, with the shape, with the form, with hair, with makeup, with accessories, with so many things, because colors is just one little piece of the whole situation. Another thing is the book Metamorphosis was made in the 80s. In the 80s, there was much more limited amount of pieces that people were wearing. They didn't have so much clothes, first of all. They couldn't find, I don't know, like the jacket of this shape of any color imaginable or the skirt of this particular shape with any color imaginable with this particular fabric, for example. No, that was still quite limited. So when they were shopping for certain things, they needed more directions. Now, fashion changed, the rules changed, everything is much more free now and people are mixing and mixing things and it looks normal. And on the covers of the top, top, top magazines of the world, we can see something that was absolutely like funny and unusual and very weird and strange and, and even uncomfortable to look at many years ago. But now we are comfortable to look at those different mixtures. So don't take it seriously. As I know, David Kibi himself, he doesn't even tell you to rely on the book anymore. He has made some more changes himself and people come to him to get his analysis personally in New York. I like this information because it's representing a certain vibe of a certain image identity. And the color is interacting, of course, with all the shadows on our faces, with all the bone structure that we have. So let's go colors for the body types. For dramatic. Always think head to toe with your color schemes. The deepest colors that complement your coloring are best. Dark neutrals are especially effective and color combinations should be bold but elegant. Combining bright shades with dark shades achieves this with ease. Pastels can be stunning if you create an entire ensemble. All monochromatic schemes are excellent. They might not look their best if they choose multicolor splashes and a mix and match approach to color. Here's what he's saying about color for soft dramatics. Your use of color should always be bold and dramatic, never dull. You shine in original color combinations that emphasize bright, dark mixtures. Pastels can be extremely elegant if you execute them in head-to-toe sweeps. Monochromatic schemes will generally require some vivid accenting in the accessory department. Strive for a very polished ensemble approach to your use of palette. You might not look as good in multicolor splashes and mix and match approach. Colors for romantic. Your use of color should emphasize a watercolor palette of soft pastels and luscious brights. Any shade that is named for a food or flower, grape, melon, raspberry, rose, salmon, is a prime candidate. Rich, luxuriously blended colors are your most effective tools to express your lush femininity. Pale neutrals, bone, dove gray, white, taupe are your best accents. They might not look their best in dark monochromatic color schemes, in neutral monochromatic color schemes, and in sharp color contrast. Theatrical Romantics Your use of color should be bright and lush, emphasizing a watercolor blend or bright light motif. Some sharp contrast is exciting. However, you will always want some vivid color in your outfits. Pastels can also be quite elegant if you mix them with light accessories. Dark colors can be too stark for you unless you break them up with vivid accents or use them in the evening in very glamorous fabrics with sheen or plushness. 
They might not look as good in a head-to-toe darks, can be too stark on them. In a head-to-toe neutrals, can be too tiring on them. In monochromatic schemes, can be too dull on them. Classics. Your use of color should accentuate your smoothly blended visual outline. This means that a mixture of colors in an outfit should blend together in intensity so as not to disrupt your clean and smooth silhouette. Monochromatic schemes are excellent, although you do not need to be limited to just one or two colors. The key is to make sure the tones, intensities, blend instead of contrasting. Neutrals in exquisite fabrics are also quite rich looking on you. They might not look their best in sharp color contrast, in multicolor splashes, and in mix and match color combos. Soft classic. Your use of color should be soft and luscious within your complementary palette. Pastels and moderately bright tones are best while light neutrals are quite elegant in luxurious fabrics. Color combinations should be softly monochromatic with intensities blending together rather than sharply contrasting. Note, this does not mean all one color, but rather that tones should softly harmonize. Light, bright color combinations are especially effective on you. Dark colors will need softening and brightening. Either use them in accents or add a touch of soft texture or sheen to the fabric to dampen their starkness. They might not look their best in multicolored splashes, head-to-toe dark color schemes, sharply contrasted color schemes. Dramatic classic. Your use of color should be bold and sophisticated. Neutrals and deep colors are quite effective for you as they provide a background of simplicity to showcase your elegant use of line. Pastels can be equally effective if the fabric is very special and you utilize them in head-to-toe sweeps. Generally, think of blending intensities of your outfits to retain your strong vertical lines. Contrasting trim is very striking on you, particularly in two color combinations. The key is to pick up the accent color in several places, not just one. In this way, you don't break up your sleek silhouette, you merely accent it. They might not look their best in multicolor splashes, in a mix and match approach to color, in all neutrals or monochromatic without bold accents. Naturals. Color is an area in which you should have lots of fun. Strive for zip, verve, and lots of pizzas with bolds, brights, pastels, vivids, and wild color combinations, anything imaginative. Neutrals work well when they are used in beautifully textured fabric, raw silks, linens, luscious weaves, and so on. But you will feel a little dull without a few bright accents, either in accessories or jewelry. Break all the rules when it comes to color. Mix and match with ease. They might not look their best in monochromatic color schemes. They are very dull and boring on them, unless the fabric is exquisitely textured beyond belief. Soft naturals. Your use of color should be vibrant and rich. Brights and pastels from the bases of your wardrobe, but soft neutrals with a little vivid accenting can be very elegant and exciting in beautiful textures. Dark colors will be too stark if you don't break them up. Use them primarily for accents or for color combinations. Bright and soft color combinations work best as opposed to starky contrasting ones. For example, light bright or bright dark combos are softer on you than light and dark ones. Wild color combinations, bright bright, of opposing intensities are fun and particularly for your casual clothes. They might not look their best in dull monochromatic schemes, in head-to-toe dark schemes. Flamboyant naturals. Your use of color should be bold and vivid, with rich, vibrant tones and the most exciting intensities for you. Wild and unusual color combinations express your free spirit most effectively. Although rich neutrals and those lush textures you wear so well are so nice, particularly if you use vivid accents. They might not look their best in multicolored splashes, can be too perky for them, in monochromatic schemes without vivid accessories, in dull colors unless they are executed in rich textures. Gamine. Your use of color should be bold and sassy, 
Break all the rules here. Multicolored splashes are perfect. Bright and shockingly colored accessories played against a dark or light background. High, sharp contrast and wild color combinations are all very chic on you. Break your line with color. They might not look their best in monochromatic color schemes. And here David Kibbe is adding death to your personality. Nothing is worse for you. Neutrals, unless they're merely accessorized or they're extremely dark or light. Savkemin, your use of color should be bright and sparkling, with a multicolor palette of vivid, rich and intense shades played against each other or on top of either a pale or deep background. Sharp color contrast is excellent on you. Color schemes can be as wild and unusual as you dare. The more shades you use, the more sophisticated the effect. You might not look your best in monochromatic color schemes, can be too dull and matronly on you. Neutrals, except as accents. Dark colors that aren't broken by vivid accents. Last but not least, flamboyant gamin. Your use of color should be electric, bold, and vibrant. Wild color combinations that no one else would dream of using are ultra fresh and sophisticated on you. Multicolored splashes played against a very light or very dark background are equally exciting. Always animate your look by breaking up your silhouette with loads of colorful accents. If you use one primary shade for the base of an outfit, then accent with a variety of bold and bright touches, or else you lose the dynamic energy that is your most appealing asset. Sharp color contrasts is excellent. Be highly original with your color choices and combinations. They might not look their best in one long line of any color, in monochromatic color schemes, in overly blended pastels, unless they are well accented or crisply defined in patterns, in neutrals, unless they are heavily accented. All right, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Subscribe on my Pinterest for 13 boards as an inspiration for the body types. Also, you can subscribe on my Instagram. All the links I'm going to leave down below. Also, you can become my sponsor or subscribe on my Patreon for some exclusive videos, some early access to these videos, and um, just if you want to support me and my channel. Thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.